So right now I'm googling demon names. Alright, hey guys, it's me Renzi back with another video and yes I'm wearing a fez and no you're not allowed to question it. Um, today I'm doing another Q&A because I haven't done one in a, quite a long time and why not? So yeah, um, let's do it! Aiden asks, what's your favourite video you've ever filmed? Either my 100th video, um, 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 my Christmas video last year because that took a lot of work and it was really fun to work with a bunch of people. I think I like videos where I work with a lot of people. My Subway challenge with my best friend which was the first time I ever did a challenge with like one other person and it was like, it was really cool, it was a fun challenge and I won. Selena asks, what is your favourite instrument? That's such an odd question. I like the guitar. That might be my favourite instrument because I've learned and stopped learning how to play it since I've been young. I really like the piano too, but I've got really small, like, dainty hands, so it was hard for me to play, like, octaves, so I slowly gave up. I used to always also play saxophone, but then my, when I got my braces it hurt my mouth and I didn't like it. Patrick asks, is our true Lord and Saviour really Jesus? Of course, like, so you have this religion, it's all based around pizza, and then our true Lord and Saviour has to be Jesus, and yeah, so hail Jesus and his stuffed crust. Mother, stop shouting! What do you mean, shut up? That's not nice! Family, say. Legit asks, squirrel. The only interpretation I can take from that is the dog Doug from the film Up, where he's just like, squirrel! Asks, favourite superhero and villain? I'm going to say villain because I reckon that's easier because there's more villains than heroes. No, there's, there's more hero, there's less villains than heroes, so it's easier to think of it. I do have a favourite villain, I know I do. Okay, so I'm not going to, because you didn't put the word super in front of the word villain, I'm going I'm to take it differently and I'm gonna, just going to answer my favourite villain in general. My favourite villain in general because they have so much sass and whatnot would be Moriarty from BBC Sherlock because he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a cool villain and he's just, he's so cunning, like, I'm not going to say anything else in case you haven't watched Sherlock, I know what's waiting for you because I'm not evil. Favourite superhero? Oh my god, I know! I don't care if you don't say these two people are superheroes or not, but they are. My favourite superheroes are Sharp Boy and Lava Girl. They are bloody amazing and ever since I was a child they have been my favourite so yeah. Kevin asks what's your current financial situation? Broke AF because Black Friday was Discord Friday and tomorrow is Cyber Monday so basically I'm broke AF because I can't not spend money I think I have a problem. But my birthday is in two weeks, two weeks guys, or less than two weeks, 12 days now. So in 12 days I am going to be a year, officially classified a year older. So don't forget to wish me a happy birthday for this present. Zinny B asks, if you had to name your first child after a demon, what demon would it be and why? I will not accept I don't know as a valid answer. I'll be watching. Okay. I don't know many demon names. How am I meant to answer that? So right now I'm googling demon names because I don't know any. Demons have really ugly names, just saying. <laughs> okay, I found one. So I'm going to pick the demon name Vine and that comes from Kristen, Chris, not Kristen, Christian Demonology and I picked the name Vine so they're named after the app so people just think it's the app and not the demon because I didn't even know there was a demon called Vine so we have an app named after a demon that's quite interesting Dario asks can you whistle Adele today? now I'm not a good whistler I used to be but then when I got braces it messed up like the way my jaw and everything's orientated so, but I can try <laughs> whistling's such an odd thing I can only whistle like this like a normal tune like that's not even a tune that's a calling someone. The answer to your question is no, no I can't. Yeah. Tommy asks, what's your opinion on the current season of Doctor Who? That's a great question. It's really good. Yeah, season 8 was quite bad in my opinion. Like, I didn't... Sorry about that, camera died. Uh, as I was saying, last season was pretty bad, but this season's really good. I think they've really thought about their stories much more. They've made the dot. They've made the doctor seem like a much better person. Like, but last season he was really sinister and really mean, and I hated it because 
I like it when the doctor's like all best friendly and not sinister and I couldn't handle it and literally I'm just like oh, I can't handle another season of this and then they made this season way better like the storylines the whole two part is saying it keeps you on the edge of the seat so this season it's season nine yeah Addy asks what is the funniest thing you've ever heard someone say to you and she also mentioned that she's hilarious there's one thing that's literally the funniest thing I've ever heard and it's something that Tate said to me so there's this joke right and I literally die every time she tells it so um, so it's a two part question I'm pretty sure you've probably heard this but it's still it's hilarious every single time so the first one is <laughs> what do you call what do you call a deer with no eyes so then the answer is <laughs> no idea and the second part of this question is what do you call a deer with no eyes and legs? Still no idea. And the thing that makes it so funny is that when Tate first said it, I didn't get it. So I was just there. And then like two minutes later, I stopped. I thought about it. I, I literally laughed for like five minutes. Maria asks, what do you think the word there? Would you sing the world's best and my personal favourite song lyric into the camera with black and white filter for extra drama for me? Give you a hint. Hello, was it me you was looking for? XD face. See, I could just say like, no and break your heart. But I'm obviously like, not going to do this, am I? Unless, magically, this all happened to be black and white. Um, looks like I have to do it. Just for you, Maria. It just says into the camera, so I don't have to be like this. So I'm just gonna be like stationed here. I don't know how to be dramatic. I'm not a dramatic person. Let me Google how to be dramatic. <laughs> Why did you throw a penny at me? <laughs> make your expressions very obvious. So smile big. Make a perfect O and surprise. Frown large. Wear unusual things. I think I've got that covered. But this, the, the whole wikiHow thing told me that I have to use like, big hand movements and obvious expressions. So I'm going to read one, two, three, four lines of this song. Okay, so I have to get in the zone. Does that mean I have to do like that thing that Sharpay does with. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? I can see it! In your eyes, I can see it in your smile. Super dramatic. That's about it guys. Thank you for watching this q and It's either really quick or really long because I didn't answer that many questions. But now that I think about it, they were very long answers. So I hope you enjoyed my rambling. Uh, see you next week. Don't forget to click subscribe if you like this. Click like if you like this. Uh, I meant click subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, yeah.